Hey guys, welcome to my kawaii DIY bedroom drawer furniture video. Wow, I said that in the wrong order. Never mind. Anywho, I made these quite a few months ago now. And I've only just gotten around to getting this DIY up. But basically, I made a blue one for my boyfriend's side of the bed and a pink one for my side of the bed. So if you want to see how I made them, then just keep watching. So I don't know much about priming furniture with regards to like sanding and things like that. So I'm going to use this chalky finish rust oleum furniture paint, which doesn't need a primer before you put it straight onto the furniture. I'm also going to use a range of spray paints. It really doesn't matter which ones you use. These are from Wilkinson and a few rust oleum ones. And then I do have a primer for the spray paints. So you want to get yourself some old furniture. I'm using these drawers. Um, I've had these a while and I've been dying to paint them. So I finally got around to getting to paint them and honestly, I am so happy I did. These were just some old ones that um, one of my Nana's friends donated to me and my partner when we moved into our house. So you want to make sure you give them a good clean first. And then, like I said, you don't need to prime them. So after you've had a clean, just start painting them. So this is me putting the first coat on one of them. And this is the first coat on the blue one. And yes, I blurred my clean washing out just in case anybody didn't want to see that. Okay, so you're going to need to prime your door handles. Door handles? Your draw handles first. So I took them off. It was pretty easy. It was just one screw. Then I just primed them. It was a bit hard to get these to dry like in a good way because obviously I need to spray like the top and the bottom of the actual pulley part if that makes sense. But I managed to make it work. So spray them white first and then once they've dried start spraying the colours on. And I used a different colour for each handle which I thought was a really cool effect. And like I said, these spray paints were just kind of either Wilkinson, which were about $3.99, which I thought was a great price, or just some Bostonian ones, which were a bit more expensive. But hey, if you want the colours, you've got to pay the price. So this is the blue and the pink after one coat. Then this is the pink after two coats. You can still see it's a little bit patchy. So I ended up doing three coats on both of them, which was quite annoying and took a long time. And this took a good week to complete the whole thing. So that's the blue ones after the second coat. So this is them after the third coat. They looked very nice if I may say so myself by this point. Um, so then I grabbed the Rust Oleum Furniture Wax, which I didn't do when I did this kind of paint on another table. And I wish I had because once you put this wax on, it's just so much easier. Like nothing really marks them. They wipe better. And I just applied it with a brush. So once it dries after about 10 minutes, you just want to buff it off. And I literally used kitchen roll to buff it off. It was that easy. And honestly, it makes such a difference. So if you can, definitely get that stuff. And then just decide where you want to put your handles, like with regards to the co like corresponding colors. And then, yeah, that's them done. I am so happy with these. You can see the like sheen on them off the wax, honestly. I'm so happy with these. They've lasted a good amount of time as well. Like they haven't really gotten dirty and anything that I have spilt on them is just wiped off because of the wax on top. So I am so happy with these. They've made a huge difference to the kind of look I'm going for in my bedroom and I just couldn't be happier. So yeah, that was my tutorial and I hope it helped. And any questions, leave it in the comments below. Bye guys.